Good morning. I'm Richard, CEO of Saitoro, and this is Andre, my co-founder. Hi. Saitoro transformed billions of online data points into a risk selection and pricing advantage for commercial insurers. As a company, we're three years old. Originally spun out of Cambridge University, and we're now backed by the venture capital arm. Today, we're headquartered in London, a team of 20, and we work with some of the largest and most ambitious commercial insurers in the world. Today, we're going to speak to you about how we combine both machine learning and unstructured web data to bring data liquidity to the commercial underwriting process, an area that's been chronically underserved with data in the past. And in doing so, we enable insurers to both write more premium and a superior loss ratio. So what problem are we addressing? Commercial underwriting is low resolution, and this means that risks that have wildly dissimilar characteristics and starkly different loss probabilities appear identical and are priced identically at the point of underwriting. On the other side, commercial underwriting is backward looking. This means um, that underwriting assumptions made 10 or even 15 years ago constrain and, li and limit underwriting choices today. Instead of seeing the overall population and then selecting different mixes of segment to optimize profitability, insurers typically seen between 2 and 10% of the insurable market, and that limits the profitability they can drive and the premium growth they can achieve. So what's our solution? Our solution is to use machine learning to extract billions of data points from the web every single day. And in doing so, enable insurers to achieve a much finer grained differentiation in terms of their, their risk selection process, allowing them to target good risks and avoid bad risks at, at a much higher level of precision. And outside of that, we allow insurers to discover previously unknown segments completely outside of their underwriting experience in areas where they have zero claims. This means they can write more premium at a better loss ratio. So to summarize, commercial insurers use um, the Citora risk engine for two key use cases. One is for portfolio optimization, helping them achieve and optimize their profitability by tilting their portfolio in the direction of profitability. And the second is our risk selection analytics, which helps them make better risk selection decisions um, on an ongoing basis. I think Andre is going to show you that in a second. And we're going to focus on, on one segment within the UK. I think we're going to focus on restaurants, where we have this for the entirety of the population. And when I mean population, I mean every single insurable risk, which we pre-compute a price for. The last thing to say is, I think we're going to give you a, a very visual demonstration, but the, the data is consumed by, by carriers via API. And we inject data into different parts of their underwriting process and workflow. So while you'll see a vis visual representation today, how it's consumed is, is, is by API. Over to you, Andre. Brilliant. Thanks for that introduction, Richard. So as Richard's mentioned, I'm going to take you through a quick demo of the Saitoro risk selection tool. And this is for underwriters at the point of underwriting to help them distinguish between good and bad risks, ultimately improving their loss ratio, which is what everyone cares about. So I'm going to take the role of an underwriter sat in London and my friend Mr. Broker has brought me three restaurants that he wants me to insure for a combined SME package. And what you see before me is uh, the sort of start of the Saitora tool. We're already on the combined SME page, and I'm going to select restaurants. Uh, I will emphasize, as Richard has already, that we do this for multiple sectors, multiple lines, and we're even looking at new markets such as the US and Europe. But for today, I'm just going to click on the restaurant tab. So the first thing you see is what I call the population view or bird's eye view. I think Tesla calls this God view. Mm. And this is a map of every single insurable restaurant in the UK. Now what you're actually seeing is a limited view of just central London, so it's clear for the demo. But I want to emphasize that in our database, we have over 120,000 uniquely identified restaurants, each with their own loss history and set of rating factors. And this is one small subsection of our entire database, which tracks currently about 4 million businesses in the UK alone. So back to the broker, he's brought me three restaurants that he wants me to insure. I'm highlighting them now, but I've done that a couple of times already, but you can search for it by some unique identifier such as a name or trading address and pull these up. And so I've got a question before me. Do I want to underwrite all of them, some of them, or none of them? And at the moment, it's very hard to tell because Richard hasn't told me that much about these restaurants. I just know they're in central London. So if I click view restaurants, I get taken to the list view, which just lists out each of the three that he's brought me. 
I can see the, yes, they're Chinese, casual dining in central London, much as Richard said, but they all seemingly look the same. How do I know which ones are good risks and which ones are bad risks? So I'm going to click the generate risk scores, and Satori is going to tell me. And lo and behold, two are high risk and one is low risk. So how does Saitora know this? Well, I can click on each one of these restaurants to drill down further to bring up the restaurant profile page. Now, this is automatically generated for each and every restaurant in our database, as well as every business. At the top, you see the contact details. We've blurred out the name of the restaurant in case the owner's here. We've got the address and an image and contact details. And below that, we have a recommended technical price of 676 pounds. Now, this seems quite high. I think Richard mentioned earlier that someone else in the market had offered 250 now, if I could beat that. So I think whoever offered 250 is probably going to make a loss. I don't really want to underwrite this restaurant. But if I look down further, we've got two sections. On the left-hand side, we've got the rating factors. And I'll touch upon that in a second. And on the right-hand side, we have the loss history. Now, my eyes are immediately drawn to this section. There's seemingly a lot of losses out of this restaurant since they're open for business. Just a couple in the last year alone. So this is something really important that I want to emphasize that Saitora does that not many insurers have access to. Is we have a complete loss history for this restaurant, and we've pulled this from millions of data points online, from news articles, social media posts, government databases. I think for fires, we even go through to the local fire station websites. They have a little bulletin board where they announce the local fires to the community, and we pull data from there and bring it all together in one place. And now what I know is this loss history for this restaurant, but Sartorio also knows the loss history for every other restaurant in the population. So it can tell me that fewer than 5% of restaurants in the UK suffered this many losses. So this is telling me this is a really badly run restaurant. They've got some endemic problems. Uh, management's probably not that good. The technical price I'm being recommended is way higher than what Richard's said someone else has offered, so I don't want to write this restaurant. Now let's look at this second restaurant and work out why this is a good risk. So if I click on this, you can see the technical price is being recommended at 208 pounds. So this is probably below, this is below what Richard's uh, said someone else has offered, so I could probably still make a profit. And if I look at the loss history, there's absolutely no losses since it opened for business about six years ago. So this is a really great, great risk from my point of view. Now I'm going to talk in a little bit more detail about the rating factors. As I've already mentioned, we pull in billions of data points online to generate this set of rating factors. And what you're seeing before you is just a short list of rating factors that we think, or our models think, are most predictive for this line of insurance. There's actually many more behind the scenes, such as the square foot of the restaurant, the construction materials of the building, the density of commercial activity on that street, and even the crime rate. But this is telling me so much more than Richard told me a couple minutes ago about this restaurant. I can click on one thing here, which I'll drill down into, which is a social media score. This is something we aggregate from multiple platforms, such as Yelp and Google Places, and it represents the restaurant's online reputation or brand. I could drill down even further to find out if this is a particularly good score. 4.9 out of 5 pretty much is. I'd definitely go to this restaurant. Uh, as I told telling me, this is in the top 10% for London restaurants. So I can see, within a couple minutes, that this is a really good restaurant compared to the other one. There's some clear differences. So if I go back to this home page now, I could tell Richard, look, get rid of these two high-risk restaurants. I don't want to write them, but I want to underwrite this middle one. This is a really good risk. It's got great management and great reviews. Now, this is something that I didn't know a couple minutes ago. This is really what Saitora has enabled me to do, is distinguish between these two risks. So I'm going to hand over back to Richard to wrap up. Great. So what Andre's shown you is how we use external data aggregated continuously from billions of sources to help improve the differentiation at a point of risk selection, ultimately impacting underwriting profitability. And there's three, um, there's three key innovations we bring to insurance. Number one, we operate at the scale of the total insurable population, and we do that across multiple lines, ranging from commercial property to employer liability to public liability to professional indemnity. And for all of these, um, for all of these lines, we pre-compute a technical price based on the data we're aggregating. That's the second point. Every time these risks change in either their losses they've had or, or how they behave as a business, we update our technical price, and we're doing that on a continuous basis. We're not dependent on any underwriter submission or submission from an from insured. And lastly, we bring high-resolution data to a data-poor industry. 
It would take um, a human five years to read all the data our algorithms read in a single day. I look forward to speaking anyone, to anyone looking to use data analytics in their underwriting process. Thank you. Thanks. Cool. Yeah,